Hi, and welcome to Northern News. I'm Juliette Skelza. Thanks for joining us. Today we will be highlighting several recent events in the Northern Burlington School District, including the High School Spirit Week, the Middle School Book Fair, several varsity sports teams, Northern's FFA in their recent trip to an Agricultural Leadership Conference, the High School Homecoming Carnival, the High School Marching Band, and several theater students' involvement in a great charity. In the fall of each year, the high school holds their annual Spirit Week. This week allows students and staff to show support for our school through various dress-up days and decorative contests. This past fall, the high school hosted their annual Homecoming Spirit Week. Students had the opportunity to dress up and participate in several events to compete against the other grades. Let's hear from our, one of our students for more. Hi, my name is Riley Mulrine. Um, my favorite part about Spirit Week is probably dressing up. I like showing my school spirit and seeing everyone else's costumes. Um, the themes this week were Patriotic Tuesday, Pink Out Wednesday, Theme or Pixar Movie Thursday, and Blue and Gray Friday. Spirit Week brings the school together because we all get together after school one day to decorate the hallways as a competition and when you dress up you are also competing against each class so it's fun to do different activities like that. Great job everyone. For Northern TV, I'm Anthony Villani. Across the campus, the middle school in conjunction with our PTSC held their annual book fair. Let's hear from field reporter Decker Morrow with more. This past fall, Northern's PTSC sponsored their annual book fair. The event was set up in the foyer outside of the media center all week and students visited as part of their science classes as well as during their lunch periods. This is important because every time a kid gets, that, gets a book and then next day you see them reading and you feel happy about it and they, they pick a book that they like and they get excited about and then they become a really good readers and then learn more and more and they like start loving books. So I enjoy about the book fair is there's um, new books and um, it just like catches your attention of like the books titles and I like the good about it. They get better at reading and then they're going to want to read more and more. What I like about the book fair is that it has really good price and has really amazing books this year. And I like how they have like poster boards for kids and toys for them to get and like bookmarks and everything for the books. Sounds like the book fair was a big hit for Northern TV. I'm Decker Mara. In agricultural news, Northern's FFA traveled to southern New Jersey to attend a leadership experience and development event. There, students participated in multiple workshops, heard from guest speakers, and attended several conferences. Let's take a closer look. Recently, members of Northern's FFA participated in a leadership experience and development conference. Let's hear from our chapter president with more. Hi, my name is Jamie Specka, and I am the Northern Burlington FFA president. We attended the lead conference for FFA, and we participated in a lot of team building and leadership activities to build our knowledge on our officer positions here in our own chapter. And we also had freshmen attend SGC, which is a state green hand conference, where they learned more about FFA. And then we had one member attend LOC, which is Leadership Opportunities Conference, and they were able to learn more about leadership and what they can bring to the chapter. FFA members gain a lot of knowledge on their personal leadership skills and how to improve their chapter back at home. Our FFA chapter will be traveling to Indianapolis, Indiana at the end of October to compete at National Convention for two national competitions. One is poultry judging and the other one will be horse judging. Great job FFA. For Northern TV, I'm Brianna Murphy. With the fall season in the books, we turn our attention to our winter sports here at Northern. We took a look at boys' varsity and girls' varsity basketball teams. Let's go to our field reporter, Emma Scott, with the scoop. With a core of talented upperclassmen, the boys' basketball team looks to be a competitive force. After a 500 record season, the boys have their eyes on the playoffs this upcoming year. Um, our expectations for the team is to uh, go far as in states as we can. We got a lot of like uh, chemistry together and um, just playing over and over again uh, with each other. This um, brought a bond to us working together and um, going to states and making as far in the playoffs as possible. I'm looking forward to the season uh, with just spending time with, with my teammates and having so much fun in the, the winter season. Thanks boys, good luck this season. 
Led by head coach Mr. Hugo and a group of talented underclassmen, the girls' basketball team looks to have a bounce-back season. Let's hear from a player with more. The team's expectations are most likely to have more of a winning season. We were really young last year, and I think with all the experience we got from last year, we're most likely going to have more success playing older teams and having more of like competition. Our biggest rivals probably have to be Delran, Morristown, and RV because we had like really close games against Delran and Morristown last year. And with our like inexperience, I think this year we'll really be able to play with them. And RV is always a good game because even though they might be older and tougher, we always compete with them. I'm definitely looking forward to playing with all my teammates again and having more of like competition and having the world to compete this year because we all got our freshman year over with and we have a lot of um, returning upperclassmen and I think our team's going to have a lot of success this year working together and just getting to play together for the next four years. Good luck this season. For NTV, I'm Emma Scott. In community news, this past fall, the high school hosted our annual homecoming carnival. Parents, staff, community members, and students had the opportunity to participate in various games and activities to help bring our local school community together. This past fall season, Northern Burlington held its annual carnival and homecoming festivities. Many parents, students, and community members were on hand for this exciting event. I was involved in running a table for Sphere, which is like the environmental earth club at our school. We um, raised a bunch of money for the animal shelter. Half our proceeds went to them, and it was really cool. There was a whole bunch of activities at the carnival. It was pretty cool. We had bouncy castles. There was a bunch of games. Um, there was a whole lot of stuff. It was really cool. It brought the community together by bringing parents, students, and teachers all in one thing just to celebrate Northern and have a good time. Special thanks to everyone who participated. For Northern TV, I'm Leah Clemens. This episode spotlight stories about the marching band and color guard here at Northern. Our reporter is in the field with more. This month, we'd like to spotlight our marching band here at Northern. Under the direction of Mr. Sean Linder, Northern's band and color guard competed in and won numerous awards this past season. Let's hear from a member with more. Our marching band competed in Group 4 competition at Jackson Memorial High School. We took second at that competition, and the competition before at Burlington City, we took first. The marching band has been practicing since August. That was during band camp, and now we practice every day after school except for Wednesdays. What I like most about marching band is that we all kind of get together as a big group and we have a really good time together. It's just a really great time to talk to your friends and get to meet new people. During the winter time, the color guard has something called winter guard. And instead of outside color guard on the field, we're inside a gym and we have a song and it's a lot of fun. Great job and keep up the good work. For NTV, I'm Maria Spano. Our final story today is about several theater students who took a part in a unique fundraiser in New York City this past fall. This past fall, four Northern student Thespian State officers, Claire Nicosia, Stephanie Minock, Perry Santos, and Melissa Flynn, spent their day volunteering with the Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS fundraiser. I am a Thespian State officer. There's 13 of us right now. And so we basically represent the state of New Jersey high school thespians um, at both like regional and national events. So it's really cool when we get invited by charities to help out at fundraisers. The Broadway Cares Flea Market is sponsored by an organization called BCEFA, which stands for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. And it's a big charity that a lot of Broadway and just theater companies in general work with. And so the flea market itself is an event. It was on a Sunday in New York City. All the shows gave out merchandise to sell, and we just went up, helped sell things, met a lot of cool celebrities, and it was a really fun time. BCFA raises money to treat AIDS and also work on research, and they connect with a lot of high schools in the theater departments and also, like I said, big Broadway shows. Great job. All of us here at Northern are proud. For Northern TV, I'm Leah Clemens. That wraps up this episode of Northern News. For more information, be sure to look us up on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. You can also check out our district webpage at www.mburlington.com. Thanks for joining us. For Northern TV, I'm Juliette Skelza.